welcome to the Scuba Made YouTube channel. Alrighty, welcome back, guys. Um, yeah, I guess if you've been following the channel a little bit, you'll see that I've been trying to, like, very slowly piece together the interior a bit better in that um, in the Beamer. So today, what I'm going to be doing is just a dedicated video on fixing like one thing. It's a, I don't even really know what you call it. Uh, it's the center console storage compartment for the rear seats. Um, yeah anyway you'll see what i mean when i show you in just a sec uh it's pretty broken and uh in need of repair and the paint and everything that's on it is terrible so i'm going to be trying to fix it and fix it all up and put it back in looking as close as i can to new i guess so anyway let's get into it <laughs> i'll show you what i mean Alrighty, there it is and it shouldn't look like that not only is this horrible to look at but in the last year, um, this has just all crumbled, basically. So, yeah, it's it's in, t in need of fixing. And I actually don't know exactly how I'm going to do that. I'm presuming, like, maybe some tape and glue from the underside or something. But um, first, I'll have to take it out. It comes out pretty easily. Uh, you just sort of get in under here and pop it up. Pop that up. Yeah, it comes out one-handed. No worries. Yep, there we go, she's out. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, it's pretty dirty in there. Let's get this onto the bench and pull it apart. Let's start by taking out all those screws, I'd say. Okay, well now that we've got it in the shed, let's try and get this all apart. I, I have got this piece out already. That's the piece that goes in there on the inside. So, yeah, that I already got out. Okay, so I've got a T20 Torx bit. This should come off really easily. Righto, based on these two little points here, I'd say that goes forward, like that. And then, I'm not sure how this, yeah, there we go. It's off, easy. So I'll be keeping that bit separate to go and paint. And then, uh, yeah, you can see, looks fine when it's like that, but Oh, oh, that's how it comes out. All right, just pops out forward. Oh, I want to, I want to try and keep it in the right order. So I better put that back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so it's, it looks pretty easy to work with. Mm. Somehow I got to try and figure out how to fix that. I'm actually thinking. I'll run a couple of beads of hot glue down there. The only thing that makes me worry about doing that is that on a hot day, that glue will just heat back up and the interior of a car gets way hot enough to melt that glue. So I might run a couple of strips of hot glue and then put this KS Bond shoe glue in as well because it doesn't get affected by the heat as much. Like a hot day won't affect this so much. Well, hopefully that will hold it together a bit better once that dries a little. Um, it probably won't flex as good, but we'll see how that goes in just a minute. Okay, let's try and see what happens if I slide it back in here. Now that it's mostly together. Well, in the meantime, I've got some paint stripper on this plastic piece and it seems to be working really well. Um, if I can just find something here, scrape that off with. Yeah, this, this old paint is coming off, no problem. So anyway, that should clean up nicely. Alrighty, now what I might try and do is grind that flat a bit so I can get it to fit back over over this part. <laughs> I don't know how good of an idea this is or how well it's going to work, but let's have a go. I don't know, 
if I can fix this, it might just have to stay shut. To be honest, I've never actually used it anyway, so I don't know. Like this, I know this glue works a fair bit better, so what I might do is put this glue over it and come back tomorrow. <laughs> Alrighty, how about we come back to that tomorrow and see what happens. And in the meantime, let's get all the uh, paint off this. Now I just want to give this a bit of a sand to get it ready for the paint. Just going to work it with a little bit of 240. Okay. Okay, that looks ready to go. Let's get some paint on there. Now the paint I'm using is called uh, BMW Cream Beige. So I've had this for a while. Let's get it on. Okay, that's looking pretty good. We'll uh, have to come back to that later. Alrighty, as you can see here, just get that in the sunlight there. This came up pretty good, a uh, whole lot better than it was before, definitely, but I probably should have used a primer. Um, I don't know if you'll be uh, quite able to see that, but yeah, there's just, yeah, there's a few little pits and things. Probably should have primed it first, but not that fast. It goes in the back. Yeah, there you go. There you can see it. It goes in the back. Um, don't really see it very often and uh, when I show you this, this I put some paint on it, this looks pretty lousy but I've put it, popped it back in here and as you will see it works there, it works so uh, to give you an idea of how I pull it all out it's all glued at the bottom so yeah you don't want to see the bottom of this, but that glue works awesome. Like you can see it's all flexy, flexy and stuff. So that just goes in there like so. And then yeah, you can open it, open it back up. And let's just, I might need two hands for this, but we'll pop this back on. Uh, let's just pop the screws in it and get it back in the car. I was also going to say, like we're ready to put it back in, but um, I forgot to mention this before. I took the hot glue out of here, I picked it all out, because with the hot glue in dry, it was too hard for this thing to curve, curve around the back there where it curves. Um, yeah, it wasn't flexible enough, so that's why I chipped the hot glue out and uh, it seems to work much better with this. So anyway, installation super simple. Just pop it in there. Push down, push down back in. Okay now the colour is a little different, could just be because it's clean, but generally that looks way better and it works. It works, I didn't even know if it would work but it looks pretty crappy, so yeah anyway let's see what it looks like from a bit further back. You can hardly tell. Yeah so we'll end this video here. And uh, as usual, thanks for watching. And if you like what you've seen, feel free to leave a comment or for us a like, and um, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more. <laughs> anyway, that's all for now. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you later.